The first picture of Jesus, the Passover lamb, was given to the Israelites the night before they left Egypt. It was part of the last meal that they ate just before being delivered from their life of slavery. Today we look at a second picture of Jesus. It's a picture taken from one of life's most basic necessities, water. Exodus 15 tells us that after the Israelites crossed safely through the Red Sea, they traveled for three days in the desert without finding water. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs and seventy palm trees, and they camped there near the water. The Israelites had escaped from Egypt and safely crossed the Red Sea but they were not in the promised land yet. A vast wilderness now stood before them. There was sand, sand, and more sand, scorching heat, and poisonous snakes, but there was no food and rarely any water. This would not be an easy journey, but God would be with them. In this drink-or-die environment, they traveled for three full days without finding any water. And when they finally did find water, they found it was too bitter to drink. So they named the place Mara, which means bitter. Now the Israelites were in a state of emergency. In the scorching heat of the desert, they needed water, but they had none. And without it, they would die of dehydration. God had just demonstrated his power by bringing the Israelites out of Egypt and through the Red Sea. So you would think they would certainly trust that God would also take care of them now in the wilderness. But no, they didn't. Instead, they doubted and they disbelieved and their mouths poured forth a steady stream of non-stop grumbling. But you know what is so surprising? God's response. God responded with grace, the grace of another powerful miracle. God told Moses to throw a piece of wood into that bitter water, and suddenly it became sweet. It was now a life-sustaining gift of grace. Grace for these grumblers. What an incredibly good, gracious, and powerful God they had. The Israelites' next stop was at the oasis of Elam. The springs of water and green palm trees awaiting them there symbolized the fullness of God's provision. There were twelve springs, one for each of Israel's twelve tribes. There were seventy palm trees, one for each of Israel's seventy elders. This was a place of rest and a place of refreshment. There was shade to shelter them from the sun's strong heat. There was plenty of water to quench their thirst. This was God's abundant provision for all His people. This life-giving water in the wilderness was a picture of Jesus. Just as God provided physical water to quench the thirst of the Israelites while in the wilderness, so He provides spiritual water through Jesus. Jesus Himself says, If anyone thirsts, let him come to Me and drink. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Thank Jesus that the spiritual water he provides cleanses your sin and gives you eternal life. And thank him that this water flows in an unending stream that is available free of charge through faith in him.